What's well, everyone I'm back with the ESO Greymore. Uh, we are in a Western Scarum, so we're gonna carry on with the main quest line now and we just have to speak to Lyris to get our next thing. Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kill Creek Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Spargrim. Do we have enough evidence to convince the king and queen of the danger? The queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Spargrim, who can tell? I haven't met the man, but everything I've heard describes him as prideful, arrogant, and hard-headed. Even with the Queen's help, there's no guarantee. So what do we do if the High King refuses to see us? I'd like to knock down the palace door, grab him by the throat, and shake him until he listens. <laughs> that would probably start a war, though, and Joran specifically asked me to avoid that. For now, let's bring our evidence to Queen Gerhild. Okay, let's go and see the if Queen. If there's anything else we need to discuss, let's get it out of the way now, before we return to Solitude. Okay, find Lyris. She's right where. Oh no, she's actually indoors. Oh, it's a play. I actually genuinely thought that was like an NPC. I love it when you look at players and they kind of genuinely look like NPCs. <laughs> it looks so cool. Uh, what is everybody scared of? <gasps> she dead? Oh my gosh, she is actually dead. Wow. Be strong, Svana. Oh, she's not. Mother! No! No! Svana, your father, the kingdom. Watch over. Mother! No! Oops. You can't die! Mother! Sire, the assassins might return. You must get to somewhere safe. Have Joran's lackeys come to gloat? We came here to warn you, Your Highness. And yet my wife lies dead. If you had listened to us... Like she did. If I determined Joran had a hand in this, there will be war. Someone take care of my wife. Father, please. Well, uh, that didn't go according to plan. Um... Gods, what a disaster. The Queen's been assassinated and Svargrim still refuses to listen to reason. We need to find a way to set things right. Uh, how did an assassin get so close to the Queen? Good question. The guards should have been able to handle a run-of-the-mill assassin. This could be connected to the Ice Reach Coven. In fact, I'd wager my axe that it is. So what do we do now? Look around. See if you can find any indication of how the assassin got in and out of the palace so easily. Maybe even turn up something that ties the murderer to the coven. I'll make sure the princess is all right. Okay, I'll see what I can do. But is this a broken window? Or shattered glass, however you want to say it. Uh, ice reach co Oh, medallion on the floor. Is that it? That was so, so quick. Svana's taking this pretty hard. I suppose most daughters feel close to their mothers. Not that I'd know, I never knew my mother. Sorry. Don't mind me. Did you find anything that might lead us to the assassin? I found this medallion near, uh, sorry, nearby beneath a broken window. We've seen these medallions before. On the Reachmen near Kilcreath. And I saw them on the witches in Ice Reach. The assassin definitely seems to be in league with the coven. But can we get Svargrim to believe that and accept the danger he's in? Now the High King seemed pretty angry to me. Svargrim has every right to be angry. He watched his wife die right before his eyes. But he's the High King. He doesn't have the right to be stupid. Time to make Svargrim confront some hard truths. Come on. The sword thane led the king upstairs. <laughs> lead the way, I guess. This is a pretty cool house. This should maybe be like a player house. I feel like you could do a lot with this one. Yeah, I feel like you could do a lot with this one. This one's actually quite we nice. See Where are we going? King. I should think not. The High King is in mourning. He's not to be disturbed. Oh. The Queen's wasn't the only life lost today. Now get out of our way. I, uh, go right in. Okay, just a firm few words. Your Highness, please. Yeah, this should be a playhouse. Danger. I like My it. My Queen's blood hasn't yet cooled, and already Joran's lackeys hound me. We have proof that the coven threatening your Ooh, Queen is responsible Sorry. for the Queen's death. Show him, partner. Sorry. I was Does Jor snooping. think me so weak that he believes his half-giant can twist my arm and fill my head with lies? I am not so easily duped, outsider. 
Uh, it's not John. You need to be concerned with it's the Ice Reach Coven. Reach witches. They pose no threat. We've beaten back those wild dogs time and time again. Thou our brothers to the east. Bow down to a poetry writing milk drinker. I will not be lectured on such matters by the likes of you. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you heard about the harrow storm that struck Kilkrith? Uh, it turned your people into harrow fiends. Tales told around campfires to scare the children. Storms happen here all the time, and none of them spawn monsters. The last spy who spoke of such things. Well, he no longer speaks of such things. I am the Wolf of Solitude. I know my enemies. All I can hear in the background is people killing people. <laughs> uh, the Queen asked us to bring you proof that might be why the Coven killed her. You dishonor my wife's name by letting it pass through your treacherous lips. Away with you! And pray I don't find evidence that ties you to the Queen's murder. That would not go so well for you. Well... I'll leave you to your grief, Your Highness. Guys, I found a lead. I was snooping and I found another lead. Um, so... That requires... Three. That requires two. Okay, cool. I still gotta do all of that stuff, but it's really probably quite boring. Is it true? For Mother videos. told me you were working for her before she. I'm sorry, Svana. I would have saved her if I could. How do you get to go in here? I can't go in there. My mother. She told me she gave the mighty Lyris Titanborn an important task. Tell me. What were you doing for my mother? Uh, we were gathering evidence to convince the High King of the threat to your kingdom. Threat? What threat? And do you think this is why someone came into the palace and killed her? Probably. The Ice Ridge Coven has come to Western Skyrim. It looks like they killed the Queen. And did you tell my father all this? Is he rallying the soldiers? Alerting the other holds? Uh, the High King won't listen to us. He thinks that this is all some plot of the Skull King. <sighs> My father sees Joran's plots everywhere, even in his spicy venison stew. Well, I won't let my mother's death be for nothing. She trusted you, and so will I. My father be damned. Please, find whoever did this and stop them. Okay, we will do what we can, Johannes. I saw the assassin. He moved fast. Unbelievably fast. He leaped through the window after stabbing my mother. By that time, the guards had gathered, so I guess he decided to flee. Try to follow his trail. Someone outside must have seen something. Definitely a vampire, obviously. <laughs> okay, so... Find a witness. <gasps> My wife. She is like ice. So cold. So pale. <sighs> All the warmth sucked out of her. What happened to your wife if we just see, like, a little vampire stuff? There was a commotion at the palace. Everyone was headed that way, except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He dragged her along like a bone between a dog's teeth. Then he tossed her aside, pale as snow. Aww, where did this man go? He was fast, so fast, ran to the Hall of the Dead. He never even looked back at what he had done. He was just thirsty. So, Hall of the Dead, Hall of the Dead, to do the same. Enjoy your scrying. <laughs> oh, more people. Will you pray with me for these poor souls? Cut down and bound for the Hall of the Dead much too soon. Tell me what happened there. It was a monster, a vampire. I have seen such creatures before. But this one wore an eye patch. It moved like a shadow and took sustenance from these poor souls. I called upon Arke's grace, and the vampire fled before his sacred presence. Well, which way did the vampire flee? Toward the main gate. I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took another innocent life. Okay, so all we really know about him is that he goes really, really want? fast. He's fast, and that he uh, he wore an eye patch. That's like literally all we have to go on. Right? He's a vampire too. Cool. You again? 
Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A priest, a sailor vampire came this way. Is that what happened here? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. What do you know about all this? And why is it any of your business? The vampire assassinated the queen. Princess Svana asked me to track him down. The queen's dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. Your head is probably the least of your worries once the High King hears about this. No one was able to stop the assassin. You'd oh no, we're gonna go with your head is probably the least of your worries. You, you think, would the High King really? But I'm a loyal subject. No more talk. I need to get Sonoria off the street. This is Spargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Spargrim and his distrust of Yorin. How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? Forget that for now. Tell me about the assassin. Did anyone get a good look at the murderer? The assassin killed more people as he fled out of the city. A priest identified him as a vampire. That would explain the assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Rage Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Anything else to report? Other than the assassin was a vampire who wore an eye patch and escaped. No. <laughs> well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Where did you tell me Fen was going again? Uh, he said he was going to see a clever woman in the, uh, near Morthal. Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Savannah. Bring her up to speed on everything we've uncovered. We're going to need her to get the High King to trust us. And I'm calling him Fen. It's simpler. Yeah, it is so much simpler than it is. Uh, I'll find him and see if he can help us track down the queen, uh, queen's assassin. Okay, great. Let's see where he is. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Hi, Finn. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire and tell me how your audience with the High King went. And <laughs> not well. The Ice Rage Coven assassinated the Queen. Now Svarin distrusts us even more. That's a sentence. Bold move, <laughs> even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? Let us stay behind to safeguard the princess. Uh, I need your help. The assassin is a vampire. We knew that vampires were working with the Coven. And old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral harrow fiends are byproducts of harrow storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the coven? Uh, I know it was a vampire who wore an eye patch and dropped his medallion when he fled. An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankerai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Njolin. Okie dokie. Hello. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. Which are you, I wonder? Well, out with it. What can old Njolin do for you? Uh, what can you tell me about this medallion? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind. Though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of, I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. What do you need? Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bear plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf, not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. Okay, I'll gather the reagents. Death bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolves are plentiful in the wilderness around Morthol as well, but be cautious. Many seem afflicted by a strange curse. I would hate for you to run afoul of it. And we're back. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire. And tell me about the reagents I requested. Uh, here are the wolf bones and the death belt you asked for. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. 
The longer we delay, the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. Mother wolf, hear me! We seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead Ooh. us to our elusive quarry. Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. How would that help me find the vampire assassin? Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. Gross, it will take me directly to him. Mother Wolf will guide you along the way, but you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? Okay, yeah, we'll find the assassin. Okay. Look! Oh, I freaking the love this! To the west. <gasps> I love this, I love this, I love this. Okay, cool. Let's go. It's kind of cheeky because it tells you obviously on the map. So if you are, if you don't really want to play it like that, you can just go to the circles, which is like fair enough in itself. I guess it's like all the add-ons for the um, like treasures and stuff like that. Uh, a tattered cloak, uh, many small ribs, okay. Must have been desperate to be the assassin Ooh. drained her of blood. Well, that's cool. Is it wrong to find these visions so intriguing? This one showed your assassin again, eye patch and all, by a cave near a waterfall, and the ball of magicka drifted toward the west again. I suggest we go that way as quickly as possible. Okay, what about the victim we found here? There's nothing we can do for her. The vampire assassin drained all the blood from her body. He took his time with her, I think. Probably needed to recover his strength after the events at the palace. Let's get after him before the trail grows cold. Wait, I have to go in here? Okay. So this is a delve? Yes. Okay. This is definitely the place in the vision. What is I'll this? slip past and mm. scout ahead. Okay, let's make our way up through here. Secluded hideaway. Ah. Wait! Deal with you next time you fight! He just stabbed him! Okay, the jewelry box there. I want to read this note, but apparently I'm getting attacked by something which is fantastic. <laughs> Once again, I prove that I'm a scholar, not a warrior. I don't think he expected another vampire, though. Uh, I see you found the vampire assassin. I found the camp. Thought it was deserted, but the assassin must have been hiding in the shadows. He got the drop on me. At least he didn't hurt you too badly before he got away. It had more to do with your arrival than anything I did. Luckily, he left behind his belongings when he departed. I saw a map and some documents over there. Why don't you take a look while I deal with this wound? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Can vampires drink other vampires' blood? Will that, like, help them? Um, they will do the work and guard their secrets closely, ensuring our secrets remain undiscovered in the darkness below. Okay, so that's... Wait, no, I can't use this. What the heck is that? A little cave? Oh, that's why I couldn't pick up this note. <laughs> Harrisorm uh, met with unexpected resistance. Our enemies have taken notice of our movement and seek to expose our plans. They are meddlesome, but a few in number. Okay. I didn't get a good look at that before. Mind bringing it over? Let me take a look at what you found. Uh, of course, there are two letters in the map. The letters are both addressed to the vampire assassin. Hentark Corb. That's an unusual title. This one gives the order to assassinate the queen. Where the language is guarded. 
The other talks about miners and a final ritual. Very ominous. What do you make in the map? It looks like a map to a mine in Carthold. It could be the one mentioned in the letter. If that's the target of another Harrowstorm ritual, we need to stop it. Head south to the mine. I'll get word to Lyris and have her meet you there. Lyris is in solitude. I thought you tried to avoid large cities. My particular habits aside, one of us needs to find the assassin and the other needs to alert Lyris Titanborn. I can handle the latter. Besides, I have no intention entering solitude. A courier should have no trouble picking Lyris out of a crowd. Okay, right, so we are at the mine place now. Uh, we need to speak to Lyra. So people have already got this. Like, how? How? And selling it for, if you can sell it for 450. Like, dude. Right, you think this old mine is where our assassin fled to? Good a place as any to bury him. Did Fen inform you of our findings? The clever woman helped you track the Queen's assassin to his hideout in Chillwind Depths. He got away, but left behind evidence that the Coven's planning another Harrow Storm in this mine, and we're going to wreck those plans. I miss anything? Uh, since the assassin escaped, they're probably expecting us. Good. Less chance of them scurrying away if they think they have the advantage. I'm tired of chasing these rats through the shadows. Are you ready to end this? Let's go! These tunnels better be dug on the large size. <laughs> oh, Lyris, you are a funny bunny. Okay. Oh, I was actually in here, like, the other day. Do I know this furnishing? I do not. Let's learn it. Um, yeah. And... Who puts melons in a backpack? Anyway, uh, there was this thing down here. Uh, I think it's this way. Be careful. The structure doesn't appear to be completely stable. There's like um this Relax. thing here. It'll take more than a rickety structure to take down Lyra's Titan. And it's a flute and it's part Actually, I'm of was more concerned for my own well-being. But it's Sorry. <laughs> it's part of these um locate and retrieve all 19 instruments and then deliver them. It's part of that. I found it completely by accident. Um but yeah, let's follow this down. Down down down. Oh, hello, creepy cave. Also, I've had a little explore around and I've managed to uncover a couple of way shrines and stuff like that. Um, just so I kind of know where a few things are. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, this I is just another way to get here. down here. Oh, sugar me sideways. Like beneath East March. Does it extend below all? Of Skyrim? Blackreach. So the legends are true. But why is there a town down here? It's freaking awesome, is what it is. <laughs> Blackreach. Again. It must be vast to extend this far from East March. Can't believe people are living down here. No sign of the vampire assassin yet. Assassin no, yet sorry. <laughs> but all the evidence you found suggests he's down here somewhere. Let's go see what the miners can tell us. But be ready for anything. This place has ambush written all over it. Uh, okay, so how do we want to handle this? Let's split up. Take a look around. Ask some questions. If the assassin passed through that ramshackle town, maybe someone saw him. Call out if you run into trouble, but don't make a move until we're all back together. <laughs> you really think that we should split up? We can cover more ground that way. And lone travelers are less conspicuous than a large group. Plus, if one of us gets into trouble, the others can come to the rescue. Just stay close to the town. We don't want to become totally separated down here. Got it, got it. Okay, let's speak to Fen. My research into Skyrim included the legends of Blackreach, of course. I never expected to see it. It's massive. That letter you found in the Assassin's hideout. It mentioned a mining consortium in the darkness below. Could this be the place? Uh, that letter indicated the, that the coven was using the miners for various purposes. Right. If the assassin is part of a vampire clan working with the coven, I couldn't imagine a better hiding place than this land of constant night. 
My guess is that most of the miners have no idea what they've gotten themselves into. <laughs> should we investigate the mining town? You and Lyra should. It's our best lead for finding the assassin. But if the miners have even an inkling of vampire activity down here, my presence might confuse the issue. I'm sure I can find something to do while you investigate the town. Okay, do you have something specific in mind? I'll keep out of sight and check the surrounding area while you and Lyris investigate the town. Meet me on the far side of town when you're finished, and we'll compare notes. Great, okay, you mentioned some uh, that your research included the Black Witch legends. Anything we should know? Most of the legends are superstitious nonsense. It was once supposedly ruled by the dwarves, though. If that's true, we'll see their ruins. There are also a lot of tales about monsters. Pale, feral humanoids. Giant insects. Be on your guard. Okay, great. Right. Do they follow me? I hope that they don't actually follow me, seeing as Lyris was like, we should split up. But yeah, down here is so freaking beautiful. It is very, very beautiful. More traps. Did those two idiots set these things throughout all of Blackreach? Okay, that's another quest. We don't wanna we don't wanna confuse ourselves. Don't wanna confuse ourselves. Right. So I think I might try to make um, each video a quest per video, but I think that might be quite long. So some of them I might split up. Right, there's another quest there. There will be time for that. DB, we have a visitor. Sorry, I'm not over there anymore. I need to investigate the town. Which is over here. Um, who am I speaking to? Roller? Go bother someone else, Holker. If I don't finish this by the end of my shift, the Overseer will have my hide. I swear we don't have hair like that. Uh, I'm looking for someone who wears a patch over his left eye. <laughs> what do I look like? The town crier? If the Overseer wanted us to be observant, he wouldn't have blindfolded us when he brought us here. Overseer, really? Are we in like fallout right now? Uh, you were blindfolded? You weren't? Hmm. Up to this point, the Overseer and his wife have been extra careful about keeping the exact location of this mine and the mining town a secret. What makes you special, I wonder? I'm just looking for a man with, a pat with an eye patch. Well, I haven't seen anyone like that. Now pick up a shovel and help me or hork off. I can't afford to lose this job. Okay, I'll hawk off. I will hawk off, hawk off, hawk off. Um, okay, who is it over here? Galuff? Is that how you say that? You must be new to Dusk Town. You've still got that look. Well, get settled in. You won't be allowed topside again until you complete your contract. So you might as well get comfortable. Are you a prisoner down here? A prisoner? No. Why would you think that? But we did sign a contract promised to stay until the work was done and never breathe a word. Otherwise, being a bonded miner with the Bitter Blade Mining Consortium is a lucrative opportunity. <laughs> have you seen a man with an eye patch come through town? <laughs> Can't say that I have. And I haven't seen any ghosts or monsters either, come to think of it. Even though the rest of the town can't stop talking about them. Anyway, welcome aboard and good mining. Okay, ghosts and monsters. Oh, don't let the rumors scare you. Miners are a superstitious lot, and being this far underground can play havoc with your senses. If you need to know anything else about Dust Town or working for the Bitter Blade Mining Consortium, just ask. Okay, there's people setting up ghost traps. Oh, also, by the way, that new like guitar thing that I saw, um, that I was like, I want, it was actually by pre-ordering. I decided not to get the next step up from the one that I got because it was just a pet amount and the guitar, like emote thing. I thought it wasn't worth it, but yeah, it was like an extra tenner, which I'm kind of glad I didn't spend it just on like a mount, a pet, and a guitar. But yeah, it was a pre-order thing. <laughs> what a waste of time. These people have no clue as to what's going on down here. I wonder if being stupid was part of their service contract. Did you turn up anything? No one I spoke to has seen a man with an eye patch. Just because no one saw him doesn't mean he wasn't here. Let's talk to Fen before we start turning this place inside out. Maybe he's had better luck. Okay, Fen said he'd meet us outside the far side of town. Right. Skulking in the shadows. Lead the way. I'm right behind you. Okay. 
Um, right, just over here. You can as well use your horse down here, which I'm so freaking glad that you can. I was a bit worried that you wouldn't be able to. Where are you, Finn? Are you in here? That's not him. He must be around the back. Oh! How kind. <laughs> Just in time. I spotted the vampire with the eye patch. He met with the coven witch who immediately ordered her lackeys to place witch pikes around the area. Oh, how can they summon a storm underground? With arcane phenomena, anything's possible. If we hurry, we can stop this hero storm before it causes any damage. You and Lyris should split up. We need to destroy all of the witch pikes. What will you be doing while we deal with the witch pikes? I'll track the queen's assassin. And the coven witch. You focus on stopping the Harrowstorm. I'll find you after that, and we'll confront the vampire and the witch together. Great! We'll take care of the witch Move. bikes. You take the east side, I'll take the west. Then meet in the middle. Gotcha. My, this horse is so not designed for down here in this area. <laughs> Oh my god, it was like eating me. I'm glad I can't be turned into a vampire like that. Because I already have, um, I'm already like a lichen. Already a werewolf. So that can't happen to me. I think I went the wrong way. No, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Get stamina over better. Thank you for killing the people. Okay, talk to Fen. The, these things are so freaking cool. I feel like they really have missed a few opportunities for furnishing items though. Um, because I never saw any of like these weird mushrooms or the gems or those giant um, like jellyfish Stop looking the things. Before it could even get started. Now to deal with the vampire. Wait, what? Don't glitch out on me like well that. Done, my friend. Before the witch could even begin her ritual, I saw the magicka disappear like the flame of a snuff candle. The witch and the vampire assassin fled to Cargandans, a dwarven ruin. We can deal with them in there. Uh, we should find Lyris. Time is of the essence. You get to the ruin, I'll find Lyris and we'll meet you there. It's southeast of Dusktown. If you get there before us, go inside and guard the entrance until we arrive. Right, I got it. I'll go there. And you're going to worry about Lyris. Yeah, maybe I should change my- Ooh! Should we quickly do this first? I'm kinda- yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Because I want to. Because I want to. This one will probably be a bit better of an explanation. Wait, is it just started? I'm so confused. I need to eat- oh crap, damn. You are okay, so we've got the Reaper again. Huge. Man. <laughs> so many people literally just minced through it. Like, minced through it. Crazy, okay. Anyway, let's go to the Storm and Ruin. <laughs> I already picked up that uh, Sky Shard when I come down here to explore to get the Way Shrines and stuff like that. That's so crazy. It's so different um, when you play on like both, being greedy or whatnot, but you know, I paid for the game. If I want to play on both servers, I will. <laughs> um, is it up top? Yeah, it is up top. So yeah, it's so different because I've obviously different time zones, stuff like that. There's still quite a fair few people I see on the NA server, like around about the times that I play. But EU, especially when a new chapter comes out, the kind of like new zone is always so, so jam packed. It's, it's sometimes a bad thing, but sometimes not such a bad thing if you need to like do group content. We're here. Let's find this assassin. Okay. Did I guard the entrance? Chase, I kept you busy 
Sister Thara? Oh no! Okay, right. Um, a little mooch around. Enough of a mooch around. Let's go. <laughs> Get this in. I'll unlock the door. Oh, what are you doing in there? Oh wow! Singalis, where is this place? The Ashen Lord commands it, and so we live once more, Orfra. Alive again? How? You have the Ice Reach Coven to thank for that, werewolf. Using my recipes, which I meant no disrespect to Exarch Singalis. <laughs> they smell us. Watched, brother. Next time, Tharda, the Ashen Lord, will expect more than the restoration of a single reliquary. Now deal with the intruders, or I'll toss you to the Harrow Fiends. Come out, little skeevers. Come out and play with Sister Tharda. How many of your sisters am I going to have to kill before you give up? <laughs> Is she Irish? <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, cool. Right, let's, um... Oh, it's a table. Oh, please don't. Oh, I don't want to have to do this. She's gonna unravel those, right? What do I have to do? Do I have to stand in that thing? I hope I don't. No, I just have to kill this stupid. <laughs> Okay, Let's got go after the other two. Gotta, gotta, gotta. These things are cool, though. They're like um, cocoons, and they house the uh, they house the werewolves. That's kind of cool. I like that, but I'm also quite terrified of it too. Get a quick thumbnail. Has Lyris and that go Yep, yeah, they've gone. I'm lagging behind of this. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, we lost them. You saw it too, right? That werewolf shed that statue like a snake sheds its skin. Was she inside that stone husk the whole time, waiting to be awakened? Or did the ritual somehow summon her into that vessel? There's a lot I still don't understand. And uh, what do you think Sister Thada was doing in there? A ritual, obviously. Remember the altar at Kilcreath? We found the urn, the reliquary, and shards from a large stone vessel. I think they were the remains of one of those stone husks. I'm not sure how, but it all ties back to the Harrow Storms. How do the stone husks tie to the Harrow Storms? I thought the purpose of the Harrow Storms were to create Harrow Fiends. Now I think that's only a byproduct. The storm somehow gathered energy that the witch used to summon Ulfra, the werewolf. Ulfra seems to think she was brought back to life. Brought back to life? Is that even possible? I've come to the conclusion that anything is possible where magic is concerned. I'm going to look around with Lyris, then return to Old Mjolan to finish studying the witch pike residue. Maybe that will help me understand how the ritual works. Okay, you can really figure out the ritual by studying the residue. Uh, we heard them mention... Uh, the Ashen Lord? Do you know what that means? I don't know of any Ashen Lord, but Exarch. I came across the term after the incident at the mass grave in Vankarai. It's a rank used by the ancient army. Its members were buried in that unhallowed grave. Their remains were smuggled here. Okay, right. Let's uh, speak to the Lyris now. Damn it. The vampire and the werewolf are long gone. They call themselves Singalis and Ulfra. And they had an unusual rank or title, Exarch. I wonder what that means. They also mentioned the Ashen Lord. Yeah, I heard. No idea who or what that is, though. Maybe Fen can make sense of what we saw down here. In the meantime, I'm gonna head back inside. 
I want to get a better look at those stone husks that were left behind. And what do you want me to do? While Fen and I examine that ritual site more closely, you should return to Solitude to the one spot where your mother's assassin has been taken care of. She'd want to know. More than that, she deserves to know. Yeah, we'll go tell uh, Svana the news. I left Svana back at the Lonely Troll under the care of that drunken orc Mog. Unless he ignored my rather stern warnings, he should be keeping the princess there. I'll meet you back in the city once we finish here. Okay, I swear that's the guy that wanted the interview. Um, the autograph, sorry, right. I'm going to quickly try and go and do this, and then we will go and tell Svana we killed the guy that killed her mother. Finally! Waiting in a tavern without a drink is maddening! How do other people do it? And Mog hasn't been helpful. His solution to every problem involves a great amount of alcohol. What news of the bastard who murdered my mother? Did you find him? Uh, we tracked down and killed the Queen's assassin. I would have preferred to see him dragged back here for a proper trial and execution. But at least justice has been served. Were you able to determine who was behind the murder? Was it connected to the threat you came to warn my father about? Yes, the assassin was a vampire who was working with the Ice Ridge Coven. Damn those Reach Witches! And damn my father for being so... so... obstinate! But what does the Coven want? Are they planning to kill my father? What else can you tell me about this threat to our kingdom? The Coven can summon devastating storms that wipe people's minds and turn them into monsters. That's horrible! But there must be more to this than simply turning my people into monsters. Well, I'll do what I can to help you. Mother would have wanted me to. What you've done and discovered will be enough to convince my father. It has to be. I freaking hope so. You and okay, me. right. I, so I have something to talk to you about. We speak to her about um okay, so the more guy was not the guy that wanted Lyris's autograph. Just I got the confused. Um yeah, so she has something for us to talk about, so that will be our next port of call. Um I will still be doing the two public dungeons as well. I just might do them on my sorcerer because I really like playing my sorcerer um, a lot, but I wanted to do the main story with like my main main character. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode. I think this one may possibly be a long one. I hope you guys don't mind, um, but any long ones I think from now on that are too long, I think I might split them up into like two parts. So, hope that's cool with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Hit the like button, leave comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.